The top reasons your home is not selling include the following. Your property is overpriced. Most likely your listing is priced way too high versus comps in your building or neighborhood. This leads buyers and their agents to believe that you're either not serious about selling or that you have completely unrealistic expectations about what your home is worth. High property taxes. High property taxes are even worse after the 2018 Tax Cuts and Jobs Act restricted state and local tax deductions to $10,000, meaning many homeowners with expensive to maintain properties are out of luck. If high property taxes are specific to your property, as in your neighbors with similar properties all have lower property taxes than you, then this is an even bigger problem. This means you've likely been overassessed, in which case you should try to resolve this unfair disparity before trying to sell. High HOA fees, common charges, or maintenance fees. High fees from your HOA association, condo board, or co-op board can be a sign of mismanagement, negligence, or even fraud on the part of the building management and board members. An upcoming special assessment. One reason why an apartment might not be selling is because of a major upcoming special assessment that's about to be levied. Buyers typically find out about upcoming special assessments during the contract review and due diligence stage. No certificate of occupancy. One possible reason is because your building doesn't have a certificate of occupancy or because it only has a temporary certificate of occupancy versus a permanent certificate of occupancy. A building that doesn't have a certificate of occupancy means that it's not legally habitable, which technically means any inhabitants can be kicked out by the city at will. Some banks may not agree to finance a purchase in a building without a permanent certificate of occupancy in place. Building has outstanding violations or fines. Outstanding city violations and fines by various government agencies are often the cause for a home not selling. It's even worse if your specific apartment has outstanding city fines or violations versus the building because most contracts stipulate that units must be delivered with a title that is free and clear of liens, judgments, and violations. Expiring tax abatements or exemptions. This is a problem because buyers will know that increased property taxes are on the horizon and it's relatively easy for buyers and their agents to find out when tax incentives will expire. Seller is not serious or realistic. You must be unemotional when it comes to pricing your home for sale. No one else honestly cares how lovely and special you think your home is. You must be rational and objectively compare your home with similar homes that have sold in your area, as well as current listings for sale in the market. Poor or incomplete marketing exposure. Not having MLS exposure effectively means your property is off-market and unavailable to buyer's agents who represent 90% of all home buyers. Onerous purchase application and house rules. A tedious co-op board approval process, purchase application or co-op house rules will turn off many potential buyers. Restrictions on renting or subletting. Most co-op buildings will restrict rentals in some shape or form, which will deter investors and anyone who may need to move. Weak real estate market. There's nothing much you can do about a weak market except to price your property competitively versus comps. You can do so by saving on the broker commission through an agent-assisted FSBO listing at www.houseit.com.